here's some advice for all drivers in South Carolina how to avoid traffic jams and this is derived from a um, from an issue in popular science magazine how to avoid traffic jams most gridlock strikes when the quick braking of one driver ripples rapidly down a string of cars there is no accident there is no bottleneck it is a phantom blockage says a certain person who who is a computer scientist at MIT and they recently developed an algorithm that shows traffic can flow more smoothly when people follow certain rules here's what you people can do to help number one pay attention to the car behind you and maintain an equal distance between it and the car ahead with a buffer if the driver in front briefly brakes you won't pass the hiccup along number two drive at the same speed as the cars around you accelerating to catch up to the vehicle ahead will result in braking or switching lanes which may force another driver to, to slow suddenly and three if you already don't have one try buying a car with an adaptive cruise control system to automatically sync your speed with surrounding traffic or save up for when a self-driving car hits the market and uh, all of that I read it came from from a popular science magazine a small little segment and that should be good advice for all drivers in South Carolina since South Carolina has the worst drivers in the world. Proven fact. If anybody got a problem with this, well, truth hurts, doesn't it? Why don't you learn how to drive? Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, this video could be used as a very good reference to all drivers in South Carolina. Especially a good buddy of mine who says that all, drive, all South Carolina motorists get their driver's license from a Cracker Jack box. Simply put. Oh well, learn how to drive, South Carolina. You'll make this world a better place if you did.